Secretary of State John Kerry was testifying at a Senate hearing in which Barbara Boxer said she was left trembling and in shock after hearing fellow Senator Bob Corker's comments regarding the job he is doing. Secretary Kerry, thank you for your tireless work. I think it is shocking and a sad state of affairs that we heard just now such angry comments aimed at you, Mr. Secretary, and through you at our president, instead of at ISIS, a savage group who decapitated two Americans and have warned, and I quote, that their thirst for more American blood is right out there. I think it's shocking. I'm actually shaking and trembling. This is not the time to show anger at the people who are working night and day, whether you agree with them or not, to protect our people. Now, I want to talk about the AUMF. I voted against the one in 02, which started the disastrous war in Iraq. I voted for the one in 01, and I've reread it about six times. Mrs. Secretary, the lawyers I've consulted with believe that you have the authority to go after ISIL. It's very clear. You read the parts. If people listen to you, you read the parts that are correct. Now, that is not to say that I wouldn't welcome working on a new one. But I want to say right now, the way things get filibustered around this place and the way politics gets played around this place, I am proud that you say you're going to do your work to protect the American people. This is a, just a sad opening of hearing. I've never seen it, and I've gone through some tough ones. Now, I want to say this. The Iraq War inflamed the long-simmering sectarian divisions in that country. I know you don't want to get into the past. It's fine. I think it's worth mentioning, because from my point of view, that's a war I voted against. I am for going after ISIL, because there's such a difference. And there are two strains of thought as people speak out against the policy of the administration. One is, they say, you're not doing enough. Go back with those ground troops. More war, more boots on the ground. American boots are the only boots that work. You've proven, just with a few examples, that it's just not true. And I certainly reject that. And the other, the second school of thought, represented in some of the folks out there who I like and, 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 and talk to all the time, they think we shouldn't take the fight to ISIL. Forget it. It's too complicated. It's fraught with uncertainty. We should sit on the sidelines. I oppose that. You cannot sit on the sidelines. At least I cannot. When you have a group that's selling 14-year-olds, as my, co my former colleague said, 14-year-olds as slaves, giving them as gifts to their fighters, murdering ethnic and religious minorities, including Christians and Yazidis and Shiite Turkmen, and again warning that their knife will continue to strike the necks of Americans. John. They have a very simple goal. They say, if you don't take our twisted version of Islam, you either flee, you convert, or you die. So, no, I'm not going to sit idly by. Um, Mr. Secretary, I have a question for you. I was on a 